Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ricky Carson. If you're new here, I post new videos every single day. Sometimes they're vlogs like this video. Other days they're more like specialized subject matter. Like I just posted a video about why Nickelodeon makes more mo more marketable post-child stars than Disney. I've also posted about um, how the US and British stole Diego Garcia, which was heavily inspired, I can't emphasize this enough, by an amazing independent journalist, Johnny Harris. But with that said, welcome to my channel. Um, today, I'm fi kind of finding myself in a bit of a mood. I was initially going to go to this, like, new, like, new museum X, like, s shit thingy for, like, the history of go-go dancing. Um, but I think I must have been, like, in a lucid state or something because I literally cannot find where I like saw this posting at all and I thought I could have sworn I took a photo of like the details where I can't find that in my camera roll I think I must have accidentally um deleted it <laughs> so we're I don't know I'm also not feeling very up for it to like go out and stuff um I was at the gym for a long time so my body naturally is just aching so much right now um but also I heard back it took a week <laughs> It took a whole week, uh, but I got some someone I went on a date with got back to me, and how that date ended was kind of just like I don't know. It just I felt like it was going well, and like we talked about like how there needs to be a foundation of friendship to grow into something more, um, and so I was kind of like I was like really I had really enjoyed myself with that person. I don't know, but a week later, they get back to me and uh, give me this dreadful, dreadful text message. It's actually quite brutal. Well, for me, I guess not for a person who's secure, but he's like, hi, Ricky. Sorry for the late response. I f oh, might as well. His name is fucking Paul. Paul Leone. <laughs> Is like, hi Ricky, sorry for the late response. A few things have changed personally, so I've decided to take time for myself and focus on my current friendships. I wish you all the best. Hope you find what you're looking for. What a fucking asshole. Like, that was after I s said, hey Paul, hope you're good. How were, you how were your Super Bowl festivities? I think it's because I've, I'm like heavier or something i don't know i have lots of insecurities anyway that this kind of like news kind of it jerked it irked me because one thing is like being rejected in a romantic way but the other thing is being re rejected in a platonic way potentially um so eh, i don't know i'm just gonna hang out here and try doing making creating i'm sorry guys this is kind of like a downer uh anyway i'm gonna just be here i already applied to at least one job position um uh i'm gonna continue pushing the envelope on that further but i'm just like mentally out of it i'm just i, I need a win i need a w really bad um i need to socialize really bad um, the next social thing I have isn't until Friday, so that's a whole five days away. And I don't even know if that social interaction will, like, last past that day. Or maybe it will last past that day, but will last in a week or so. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, I love people. And I love going out and doing things, but, like... When you constantly get beat down over and over and over again, and you're just not winning at all, it's 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 new for me. <laughs> it's new for me to be in this consistent state of just like drudge, just drudge. Anyway, hopefully the rest of the day will turn around. It'd be really nice to have a phone call with one of my friends who wasn't experiencing mental illness. Or going through their own stuff. Hmm. Anyway. I don't think I'm going to respond to that. I don't think he wants me to either. Anyway. I was fucking asshole for making me wait an entire week. 
after I like been honest with him that I like hate that like it's specifically I don't know will I ever find someone I think I don't know I, I have a problem with I have a problem with like men because they suck not all of them but most of the ones I've experienced in terms of just yeah in general and then women I have a I have mixed feelings for them because all my life I have been traumatized by women and so inherently I'm not too eager to <laughs> um always have the to tolerance and patience that I think that a lot of women expect I treat women like I treat a person you say something stupid you say something stupid <laughs> I'm just but i i don't know i'm just i'm just going kind of haywired and just feeling a little depressed which is something that i've been like trying to fight for the longest time but eh, what you're gonna do is your moves gonna come and go up and down so i'm just as long as i get my tasks done for today i consider that a win so Okay, guys, I decided to actually respond to him because I'm petty like that. I need my fucking last word. So I said, well, for whatever reason, I can appreciate your belated response and apology. It's a shame that this is where a potential friendship ends. But I, too, wish you all the best and hope you find whatever it is you're looking for, Paul. I didn't say whatever. I said what, what you're looking for. Um, I'm just happy I did that because it was a real dick move waiting an entire week for this, like, weak sauce response, like, excuse, and stuff. I'm, yes, guys, like, my hurt is speaking, <laughs> too, so, like, um, but, you know, fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. People constantly underestimating me. People constantly not being able to. Uh, it's, it's what it is. I hate that saying, but it is what it is. So, I don't know. I just got out of the shower, but did like butt fuck nothing to my hair. All right, well, let's continue living this day because it's not like there's any other options. <laughs> How we can send out the, the message of strength and that show that we are, as Western world, we are strong is by supporting Ukraine and making sure that Russia loses in Ukraine. Um, <laughs> I got hungry, so I'm making some epic breakfast food. And yeah, it's like 1 p.m., but we gotta eat breakfast food sometimes. So let me show you guys what I got. I got five strips of bacon sizzling right here on the little oven. And then I got two soy-free, gluten-free, everything-free, except egg-free. <laughs> cinnamon rolls that i'm putting up here so they have a chance to warm up oh that's hot i don't know how long they'll actually be able to be here uh, never mind i'm gonna take these off but yeah this is what i got going on it's gonna be good if your kid is gay you don't want them to feel like they can't be accepted and they can't be themselves but at the same time there's got to be some sort of you gotta pick one of them <laughs> <laughs> He can be talking about anything. He can be talking about anything, and he's always has the same intensity. He's like, no, you have to pick one of them. He's like Anton Chigurh. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do I have to call it? Yeah. And when a bitch brags about waiting like longer than that, we've all met that girl, right? She's like, we've been dating three months, and we haven't even had sex yet. I want to be like, bitch, you haven't had sex yet. <laughs> I got my frozen. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, y'all. 
I just came out of the shower, hence why I'm dripping wet. And I decided that something to help raise my spirits a bit would be a nice walk around a neighborhood. The neighbor, not necessarily my neighborhood, but a neighborhood. So that's what we're going to do. I need to grab my wallet first though. That would be a handy thing to have. Yeah, I don't know. Walks always like make me happier, so yeah, let's go.